Welcome to the 17th International Junior Science Olympia 2020. An exciting journey with a lot of fun, great challenges, exciting experiments, and new cultures are waiting for you. And today I will show you where your journey will take you. We are in the middle of Europe, surrounded by nine other countries. 83 million people are living here in 16 states. And our country is known throughout the world for being an excellent research location because science plays an important role here. The capital is Berlin and our chancellor is a woman with a signature move. So, can you guess where you will be traveling? Yes, in December 2020, your journey will take you to Germany, the country of poets and thinkers. Germany has a lot more to offer than just Sauerkraut, Oktoberfest or Gartenzwerge. Coastlines, mountains, forests, fields, meadows, Germany has a lot of different landscapes. But it can get very cold here in December, so don't forget to dress appropriately. And if you're still freezing, maybe you can get a hot chocolate at the Weihnachtsmarkt. That's German for Christmas market. And you'll have the chance to taste the famous Christstollen. That's a special kind of cake, not necessarily my kind of cake. I like roasted almonds. They're perfect for people like you and me who think a lot and need a little bit of sugar every now and then for their brain. Germany is the birthplace of several well-known scientists. Their theories and experiments were groundbreaking. And probably the most famous of them all is Albert Einstein with his formula E equals mc squared. Yes, people still try to wrap their heads around his theories. Christiane nüsslein vollhardt received the Nobel Prize in 1995 for her work in physiology and medicine, and she's still involved in genetics. Wilhelm Konrad Röntgen's discovery enables us to look inside bodies and objects. And Röntgen radiation, or X-rays, they're not only used in medicine, they're also used in airports at the security check for your luggage. And that's a little hint for the place where you will be on December the 11th. Welcome, or as the people of Frankfurt say, Gude in Manhattan. But why do they call it Manhattan? We're not in New York, right? This is because Frankfurt is well known for its unique skyline by the river, the Main. And alongside the skyscrapers in cozy Appleboy pubs and in the heart of this vibrant city, you'll be able to explore many historical sites. And whether it's the Zeil, the airport, the university campus or the banking district, many people are drawn to this city of international finance and trade fairs all year round. Frankfurt is particularly proud of its most famous son, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. He was a great thinker and poet, and his works are read all over the world. I don't know about you, but I'm really looking forward to spending some time with you here. 